Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Brittany. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. So today we're filming a very exciting video. We're going to be doing a review slash first impressions on this palette right here. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4 palette. And so let me go ahead and open it and show you guys what it looks like. This is what it looks like right here, and I'm so excited to try this for you guys just because I've actually never tried any of the Hourglass bronzers, blush, highlight, or any of their like setting powders or finishing powders. I've tried the Hourglass Mineral Veil, but I've never tried any of the like lighting powders that these have, and so I'm super duper excited. Before we jump into trying these on the face, I do want to do some swatches of all the colors just so you could see what they're going to look like, and then we'll jump into trying it out on the face for the first time. So let's go ahead and get into the swatches. So these are what the colors look like right here untouched. They are super pretty. So the first color we have in the palette is this one. This one is a finishing powder and it's called Dim Light. Now I'm not sure how these are going to swatch just because they're just finishing powders, but I'm going to try. So this is Dim Light right there. Hopefully you guys could see that. Okay, so the next one in the palette is called Diffused Light, which is also a finishing powder. It's just a more yellow undertone. And these feel so like thin and silky. So this one is Diffused Light. I swatched it right there, but I'm gonna try to build it up so you guys can see. Okay, and in the corner we have the highlighter, which is called Euphoric Strobe Light. So this one is the highlighter. These are so hard at showing up on camera. Try to build it up just a tad. You guys could pretty much see the glow though. Okay, next up we have the bronzer. This is called Filtered Bronze Light. There's the bronzer. Moving on to blush, we have this blush right here in the center and it's called Luminous Glow Blush. And that one is Luminous Glow Blush. I hope that you guys are seeing this. They're so sheer. And last but not least, we have this one right here, which is Euphoric Fusion Strobe Blush. And so I'll go ahead and swatch that one. It's a really pretty mauve blush. And those are all the swatches. But honestly, I feel like you guys are going to be able to tell way better on the face. So if you guys want to see me try this on my face, let's go ahead and get into it and see if this baby is worth the $80 price tag. Alrighty guys, so obviously I already have some of my makeup done. I have foundation, concealer, and eyes on right now. And we're just going to go ahead and jump into this face palette. I do want to use it to go ahead and set everything. So I didn't set with no powder yet. Um, so this is what the box looks like. It's super pink and reflective super cute it already has like my nasty fingerprints all over it and then it does show you on the back what each product is and it kind of like numbers them and tells them tells you what they're for um, so let's go ahead and open it so it comes in a little black box and it does have this little card and it tells you what each powder is for and what their um, color is and it just gives you like a number reference which I really enjoy because I actually didn't know if the two powders in the front were setting powders but it does say that they are on this card so we're going to go ahead and use this while we're doing this and let's go ahead and get the actual package out. Ooh, it is so pretty. So this is what the packaging looks like. Obviously, it still has that reflective pink packaging. And we'll go ahead and open it. And these are what the colors look like right here. So beautiful. And it does have a big mirror in there. So I'm first going to start off with this shade right here in the center. It's kind of a light yellowy powder. And I'm going to go ahead and use that to set my concealer. Now, this one is called Diffused Light. But before we set it, I do want to make sure I blend out any lines under my eyes. And then I'm just using my Real Techniques setting brush to go in with that powder. It's a very, very lightweight powder. I can't even feel it going onto my skin. Oh my gosh, that looks so natural and pretty. So this is the eye that we set. It just looks so smooth and nice. And this is the eye without setting powder. And then I'm just going to do the same exact thing to this side. 
Alrighty, so now that my under eyes are both set, I'm going to go ahead and set my face with this first one right here. And this one is actually called Dim Light. So this is what my face looks like before I set it. Those are my pores right there. And I'm going to go in with a small brush just because these pans are very small. And so I feel like if I put a big brush, it will just dip into the other products. So I'm just going to take this on my e.l.f. blush brush. And these do have some powder kick up, but nothing too crazy. And I'm just going to go ahead and set my face. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, my gosh, guys. I went in with the highlighter. I meant to use this one on this corner, but I went in with the highlighter and it totally exaggerated my pores. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. I guess because I was showing you guys and it confused me on which side to grab it from. So, oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm gonna get rid of this. So I'm just gonna try to blend it away. I can't believe I did that. Oh yeah, that's definitely helping. Oh, I'm such an idiot. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of my concealer just to cover that highlight so we give this powder a fair shot. All right, I'm pretty sure I fixed it. Okay, so instead of dipping into the powder while I'm looking at the viewfinder, I'm going to go ahead and just dip into the right one this time with the same brush. I did clean it off and we're going to try this again. Now actually going in with dim light this time. It doesn't feel like anything on the skin. It just feels so lightweight. Hmm. Okay. So this one, it looks like it's turning my foundation a little bit more pink, which I don't think I'm okay with. Do you guys see that? Uh, <laughs> it does say setting powder, right? Like what the heck? Dim light finishing powder. Yeah. So it's a finishing powder. Why is it turning my face pink? I'm so confused. And I'm actually dipping into the finishing powder, just so you guys know, like I'm dipping into this one and it's turning my face pink. <laughs> this is not going well, guys. Alrighty. So I guess I'm just gonna have to even it out and put it on this side. But as you guys can see, like, hopefully you're seeing this on camera. My face is literally pink. I just don't know. Maybe I'm putting too much? I'm so confused. But I don't know, I'm just gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with this. Okay, so I might have figured out a solution to the whole pink face thing. Um, maybe if I mix the yellow color with this other finishing powder, it will be less pink. So what I'm gonna do is dip into both and set my face with this. Just because I was looking so pink. All right, guys, so now my whole face is set. This is what we're looking like. I still feel like I look a little pink, but we're just going to roll with it um, and try out the bronzer now. So um, this is the bronzer right here in the palette. It looks super pretty. It looks very cool tone, which I like. It is called Filtered Bronze Light Bronzer. Okay, so I'm just going to take the bronzer with this Real Techniques blush brush. It's just a big fluffy brush. I try to only dip into the bronzer. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Hopefully it'll show up on my skin just because it is on the lighter side. Oh yeah, that color looks really pretty. I love the way that looks. I feel like my cheeks just look so pink that you can't really tell on camera. Yeah, that looks nice though. And it just blends in so effortlessly into the skin. Oh yeah, now I can tell. And then I'm also gonna bronze up my forehead. I think I got a little blush on there, so I'm gonna take that off. I just hate like dipping into small pans like this with big brushes because I'm always scared I'm gonna dip into another color. Ooh, that looks really nice on the forehead. Especially because my forehead is more on the drier side. So glowier powders usually look better on my forehead. Now on a smaller brush, this is the Sigma E45. You could use code Brittany Raquel to save 10%. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this to go ahead and contour my nose a little bit. I'm gonna take the more yellow color right here in the center, which was called Diffused Light. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this to go ahead and clean up this contour, just to make it look a little bit more sharp. If it will even do anything, it's just so lightweight. It might not even do anything. And I'm also going to use that to kind of clean up the nose a little bit just because I feel like it has a lot of color right now. Hopefully I don't get super oily throughout the day. 
with these powders but we shall see so moving on to blush i'm gonna go ahead and go into this one in the outer corner it's called euuric fusion hopefully i'm saying that right but it's a strobing blush and it looks so pretty so i'm taking that on an angled blush brush from aoa studio and i'm just gonna apply this to the cheeks that is a really pretty color i like it i love that it's not super pigmented like as soon as you dip into the brush it's like too much product because i feel like blushes are better when they're a little bit more um buildable because they look a lot more natural on the skin and i feel like building all these powders together it's giving my face a really nice youthful glow like i just look so healthy but like I said, hopefully I just don't get too oily throughout the day. All right, guys, last but not least, we're going to go in with the highlighter in this palette. It's called Euphoric Fusion Strobe, um, strobe Powder, right? Yeah, Strobe Powder. So it has the same name as that blush, except that one was called Euphoric Fusion, and this one is called Euphoric Strobe Light. I don't know why they make them so similar, but okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the highlight on my Morphe M510 brush. Like I said, it already kind of looked glowy from the other powders. So I don't really know if this is gonna do much, but I'm gonna build it up to be blinding, hopefully. It looks so pretty on the skin. It's not a super blinding highlight, but it looks really wet on the skin. So it's not super like stark. It just kind of melds into the skin and gives you a really nice dewy appearance, which I like. So this is the side with the highlight and this is the side without it. It just melts so good. I can't stop saying that. Just like blends into the skin. Okay, and then I'm also going to use that same highlight to go ahead and highlight the center of my face, which I probably honestly don't need because... I'm already looking so glowy in the t-zone and that is not good for oily combo skin we're just gonna try it out it's not really doing much for my cupid's bow yeah. i think that's all we're gonna get out of this highlight but it's looking really nice Alrighty, guys i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup off camera and then i'll be back to tell you guys my final thoughts on this palette okay guys i am back and all my makeup is done what do you guys think i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys my final thoughts over this palette and tell you if it's worth the 80 dollars price tag so starting off with the first color which is dim light this is the one that i tried to use as a setting powder all over and as you guys saw it turned my face really pink so so far i'm not liking that color um i tried to mix in the yellow but i still honestly feel like my face looks very pink right now so i did not like that color as for the second one, this one is called Diffused Light, and this one worked really, really good under my eyes, and my under eyes are looking a little yellow today, and I don't know if it's the concealer plus the powder or if it's one or the other, so I'm definitely going to have to try that out with a different concealer, but so far I am liking it. As for the highlighter in this corner right here, this one is called Euphoric Strobe Light Strobe Powder. Whoa, that's a lot of strobe. Um, but this looks really pretty on the skin. I feel like it gives a nice glow. It's nothing too crazy. It's not a really stark highlight and you do have to build it up. But once you do, it just melts into the skin really pretty. And so I do like that one. As for the bronzer, it's not that dark. So you really have to build it up, especially if you're around my skin tone or darker. Um, if you're darker than me, I don't, honestly don't know if it will even show up because it is very sheer. But it did end up looking really nice on the skin. As for this blush right here in the center, this one is called a Luminous Glow Blush. I actually didn't use that one today, so I'm definitely going to have to try that one some other day. And then last but not least, we have the color Euphoric Fusion Strobe Blush, which is this mauve blush right here which I did try today and I really love the way it looked on the skin it just looks really nice it melts into the skin just like the setting powders and it has just a really nice formula so overall I ended up liking all of them except for the first shade in the palette but do I think this is worth $80 I honestly I right now i don't feel like it is just because they're very sheer you have to build up a lot of the colors like i said i haven't used this formula from hourglass before and a lot of people really rave about it so i'm definitely gonna have to try it out some more on some different days with different products and just see my thoughts just because i want to give it the benefit of the doubt but so far i honestly don't think it's worth the 80 dollars price tag 
Um, but I am definitely going to keep it trying it out and I will keep you guys updated. But I hope that you guys enjoy this video and this review over this Hourglass palette. Let me know in the comments down below if you picked it up or if you tried the Hourglass powders and what you think of them. If you think that I used it wrong, let me know because I'm definitely new to this Hourglass lighting powders um but yeah if you're not already subscribed to my channel Brittany Raquel go ahead and subscribe before you leave I do make videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday so that's three times a week and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye